What's up, YouTube? Okie dokie, um, this is a battle with... Um, I'm not sure that this may not have been my latest team, but um, it was a battle I had on my stream, and it was a pretty fun battle as well. Um, I had a, a lot of fun trying to go up against these guys, and um, I won't spoil the video anyway. Um, one Pokemon was really, really fun to use um, in this battle. Really, really great. Okay, let's answer yesterday's question as well. Um, I'd say Mawile came out probably on top as the most popular uh, out of all the comments so far. Um, that doesn't um, really surprise me very much. Okay, so for today's question, what's your favorite ghost type? So, spooky. Um, I'm trying to think what mine would be. Hmm. I don't know. There's a there's a, there's a few interesting ghost types, like um, this includes like you know dual types as well, like you know frost last that sort of thing. Um, anyway, so let's get to this battle. Um, so I was using um, my it wasn't this is my most recent team, but it was my team before that. And um, so as we can see, we've got Scizor, Lucario, Gengar, Greninja, um, Sylveon, and um, Alakazam. So this was not going to be a very enjoyable battle at all um, for me. These are the pokes that I don't like versing the most. So, and I think this might have been on my stream. So I was like, "Up, oh, what the hell? Let's just get it done anyway. Let's get this one over and done with." Uh, so I'm leading with Zippy Zebra, and he's going to be leading with uh, Alakazam. Now I've got the air balloon on this time. Now, unfortunately, straight away he goes for Mega Alakazam here. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. He's going to trace my lightning rod, and I've just used Volt Switch on him. Fuck! <laughs> I thought that he might, may, may not be using this. Uh... Unfortunately, he does. So he's going to get a lightning rod and get a special attack boost. So already here, he was pretty much this Mega Alakazam was like spelling doom for my entire team. Um, so that zebra down, which suck so a terrible terrible start um, and I was already at a huge disadvantage already um, so I'm gonna bring in slaking and just go straight here for the uh, retaliate um, try and uh, get some good damage in comes the obvious Lucario um, I'm just gonna go to retaliate as I said and that just den annihilates Lucario don't even care that it's not very effective it's slaking so uh, that's that's that down which is good now, uh, here comes Gengar. I thought maybe like, like a possible Focus Blast or something uh, like along those lines. Uh, I know it, it was a terrible, terrible matchup because my special defense wall was very, very weak against Poison as well, which did not help things. Um, I get critted there by Sludge Bomb, which sucks. I would have taken that a lot better um, after a Protect as well. Um, I might even be able to get got like a Wish or something off. Um, Gengar's going to go for Thunderbolt, but that's not going to take me out, and I get Parax, so yay! Um, fortunately, I do get a wish, uh, a wish up here, which is good. I can uh, sap most of my health back next turn, if I get the Protect back. Uh, Wigglytuff wheel, it really wasn't much help in this battle at all. Um, like, I couldn't really do much at all to Gengar. Um, it was more of a like a um, just a support tank really, passing wishes and stuff. And there, there was really nothing I could do uh, here. Maybe try and force a swap or something like that. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, so Dark Pulse are not going to do anything. Maybe thinking that I'd swap after getting my wish back, and um, that's not the case. I want to try and cause a swap on this Gengar. Um, so he's just going to continue to go for Sludge Bomb. There's no real um, risk from doing that. He can just keep spamming it. Um, like I said, I cannot do anything, and I can't really swap anything safely into this uh, as well without taking massive damage or even getting a poison, which really sucks. Um, so I get my Protect off, so I got past par Parax a few times in a, in a row now, which is quite rare, and um, I get most of my health back here. Unfortunately, I'm just sort of delaying the inevitable here, just hoping for him to swap, which... Um, wasn't really going to happen because I eventually would get parahaxed and uh, go down. So as you can see, I'm going to get parahaxed probably very, 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 very soon. <laughs> um, so as I said, I'm just going to continue to throw wishes up. Um, I wanted to maybe try and get a wish up, then cause a cause a switch, like eventually I did, and uh, maybe try and pass a wish on to another Pokemon or something, so I could get like a free swap in. 
Um, so I'm gonna swap out here and uh, gonna go straight into slaking again. I thought that I could take uh, the sludge bomb then get my wish back and I'd be nearly at our full health. Um, I don't really like to stand against this thing because I know that it's going to use like uh, bullet puncher and those, those sort of things or U-turn or sword dance or all those sort of all that usual crap. Uh, so in comes Gengar again. Uh, I can't possibly stand against this thing. I'll get decimated by its uh, special attacks. Um, I'm just going to go into Wiggly Tough because it's basically wrecked already and it's just a very low chance of me getting a wish pass off and even taking a um, hit actually. So now I'm going to have to take the sludge bomb here and that's wiggly tough out the way, which sucks. So I just had to sort of hold on against some of these Pokemons that were really, uh, really powerful. So back into slaking, um, I knew that he would probably stay in trying to get some good damage off of Sludge Bomb. Doesn't do much because I'm absolutely max health and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to take him out with Night Slash ba uh, Banded. So that's Gengar out of the way. So I was happy with that. Uh, happy with getting that crap out of the way. Um, I knew that uh, Scissor would probably go for Sword Dance or Straight just for a Bullet Punch. So my best option here, I still have my Weezing and that was still my best option to swap into it. And maybe I could get a, a Will-O-Wisp off or something like that. Um, so Bullet Punch is absolutely nothing to Weezing. After that, uh, Black Sludge as well. So he's really forced to swap out there. Doesn't want to stay in uh, against that at all. Um, so out comes the Annoying Greninja. Uh, this was another really... Uh, bit of a pain in the ass Pokemon, actually. Because um, I didn't really have a special wall anymore. And like even though Gengar was out of the way, um, I needed something to sort of tank the hits from this guy. Wigglytuff would have been great. But unfortunately, I had to sort of uh, sacrifice it. So I thought uh, that, sorry, I thought that um, extra sensory would be coming with the protein. I was correct. Um, I know Amolo is not going to take this very well at all. But I, as I said before, I didn't have a lot to swap into here. Um, this was already like an incredibly uneven battle from the start. So I was just doing my very best to stay in this at this point. Okay, um, Ice Beam is going to hit me pretty hard and take me out there. So. I guess the best thing I got out of that was a little bit of burn damage, um, really. So once again, I'm going to bring in my uh, my slaking. I'm trying to get um, I'm trying to get him some uh, more damage. I'm just going straight here for retaliate again, um, since he was so good at he's been so good this battle already, getting rid of like two Pokemon. Um, so retaliate is going to hit Scissor really hard, even though I resist it resisted does over three quarters. So I was really really happy with that. Um, now he's just going to same, spam the old, uh, same old bullet punch. So back into Weezing again to block their uh, defensive um, physical attacks. I was lucky I still had Weezing left because I didn't have a lot left to swap into um, now. So I knew that he'd probably go back into Greninja, so I just went straight for um, Clear Smog. But he went to Alakazam instead, um, which I could pretty much could do nothing to with Weezing. And he would one-shot me quite easily with Psychic. Because this thing has like mad stats. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking at this point, well, Scissor's down to uh, low health. I'm just going to stay in and take the hit. I can't swap into anything else. But he swaps out, which is really odd. Maybe thinking that I go back into my slaking or something like that. Um, I wasn't too sure, but I was happy that he swapped out. Um, he overpredicted on a double switch. Anyway, so um, I get the burn on Sivalon, which is good. Um, that's just going to go for Psy Shock, um, and it's not going to hit me very hard because that hits def like defensively instead of special. So that was all right, I guess. <laughs> and I can go for Clear Smog here and go for some super effective damage. That's sort of what I was aiming at, at least. Um, so he's realised that that's not going to do much, and out comes the Greninja again um, with the burn. So I was happy to get some Clear Smog damage off on this guy anyway. Um, and that, uh, that'll that um, rack up some damage with that burn as well. Um, I knew Extra Century obviously was coming here, but as I said, I didn't have anything to swap into, um, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so I just had to take the hit here and hope that my next Pokemon could take him out without actually going down to uh, any of these guys. So uh, as I said, my last, my last poke here was my last two pokes here were my little monkey dude which really wasn't going to help me much at all because you get outsped by both pokes so the really only reason I used him here was to 
really for some burn damage. He just wouldn't have helped me out this battle. Alakazam would have outsped, one shot it. Greninja would have outshot it. And the only problem, the only thing there I was to do is to get that burn and take the Greninja out. Uh, that was really the only thing I could actually do with it. So, um, out comes Civilon again, and I'm going to send out. I think Slaking was on his last legs here. I go straight here for Retaliate, and that's going to take it out. Goodbye. Uh, so I had, so there was two pokes left. I already knew that I wasn't going to win this battle because um, of Truant, but I was really, really happy with how Slaking went, especially against these sort of pokes, and with his ability as well. Uh, so he's going to hit me with Bullet Punch. Does nothing. I've got Truant, obviously. Um, Bullet Punch is going to hit me again. And I'm going to live, and I'm going to take the Scissor out here with Retaliate as well. So I was really, really happy. Um, I got that out. So his last poke was Mega Alakazam. I knew that there would be no chance in the world that I would um, leave his Psychic. I was hoping maybe they went for a cocky Focus Blast. That would have been really funny. You may get a miss, but... Ah. Oh, well, I, I was happy. I was really happy with how Slaking went. And Slaking is awesome. You should definitely try him out. Um, yeah, so I think that's about all. And um, you guys wanted to see me have some OU losses, there you go. I'm sure it was a very exciting battle to watch. Okay, um, I might get some more Wi-Fi battles up tonight. We'll just see how that one goes. Peace out, guys.